Diamond on Chairman's and Cranberry Got a couple of my links on the way Take the line by island breeze Listen to the ocean speak Bet you say you're never gonna leave I'm in town, let me take you around Pretty St. Lucia Welcome to the Sports Mag Zone. We start today's show by welcoming on set Christopher Gustav, marketing manager of longtime sponsors of the Sports Mag Zone, the St. Lucia Tourism Authority. He is accompanied by two time T20 World Cup winner and current West Indies white ball head coach Darren Sammy. Gentlemen, welcome to the Sports Mag Zone. Chris, let's start with you. What brings you to Jamaica at this time of the year? Well, it's really a pleasure to inform the general public that for the first time in a long time, yes. we actually have the ability to fly direct or almost with a short stop from Jamaica to St. Lucia wow. via Inter-Caribbean. When did right. this start? It started sometime last month. Uh, so we had to promote it to make sure that the general public is aware of the flight. It's up to three times a week you could escape to paradise. And the way the flight is designed, an escape, yes. yeah, the way the flight is designed, you could literally spend every weekend if you wanted in, in beautiful St. Lucia. Yeah, and you have a jazz festival coming up, don't you? So that, I think, is um, well-timed. Yeah, definitely. Um, St. Lucia Jazz Festival is probably the leading fest music and arts festival in the entire Caribbean. Yeah. And we have a lineup that's second to none. I mean, the amount of excitement we've seen around this festival, it's really bringing St. Lucia up to a different level. And we have a lineup, a lot of Jamaicans are actually on the Chinsia, cast. Chinsia, right? Um, not Chinsia, but Barry Salmon. Yeah. Barry, Barry Salmon, Salmon. Oh. Um, Romain Vogel. Um, but Marshall Montana from Ma TNT will be there. Definitely, Marshall Montana. And, and, and Air Supply, who is everybody's favorite. Yeah, so. And the thing about the air supply show, it's on the 13th, Mother's Day. Mother's so Day. So I'm wow. encouraging all people listening, book a flight to St. Lucia. Bring your mom and see not only air supply on Mother's Day, yeah. but baby face as well. So yeah. you're talking about a, a lineup that's really second to none. Yeah, well, to be very honest, St. Lucia has always been top class when it comes to the quality of artists coming to your to your jazz festival so this is this isn't a change from what's the norm correct and those who are into the jazz we actually have two nights of pure jazz um, on the 7th of May we have multiple Grammy Award winner John Patatushi and on the 9th of May that's the first day we have ladies in jazz concert featuring the sensational the I, I, three-time Grammy Award winner. Every time she sings, she wins a Grammy. She's <laughs> a young sensation, Samara Joy. You really need to see her in person to really um, marvel at the magnificence of Samara. So we have also alongside her, we have Vernet Bigford. So it's a full lineup, you know? Every taste of music, it's available at the St. Lucia Jazz Festival. On the Wednesday, that's the 8th, we have something called Kingdom Night. And it's a praise and worship celebration like no other. You, How you, long is it, the, the entire festival? Yeah, it starts on the 30th and it ends on the 12th of May. Wow. Right, wow. so it's every, on almost every day for that entire period. So yeah. you, you're talking about events, you're yeah. talking about shows. We, but the gospel night, it's amazing. We have mm. a headliner, Donnie McKirkland, yes. playing um, alongside Jamaican Carlin Davis, for example. So the, 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 the Genres, there's so many. So any type of music you're into, you could find at the St. Lucia Jazz Festival. But what I want to also ensure that is people understand that you're not only coming for the jazz, you're coming for all the, you know, the unique attractions that we have in St. Lucia. So we're talking about, for example, the driving volcano. We're talking about Grozile Friday night, World Class Resort, the Pitons. So you know? Lance, I don't know if you know, but Chris is what I, I would have told you this story before. Chris is one of the persons from St. Lucia when I was not on the Sports Mac zone, saw my work. I was working back in Trinidad at a small station, which you know, yeah. and, and he found me on social and of course gave me the experience. Wait, wait, wait. 
gave me the experience to come to St. Lucia because of the St. Lucia Tourism Board. So he's somebody, of course, that I'm so grateful for, one and two. I had the experience. So all these things he's describing, yeah. I got to experience it because of him. Yeah. yeah. And Darren, you were about to interrupt her. I'm, I'm <laughs> anxious to hear what, what, what you wanted to say. She had to interview me uh, on that trip as well. It was the World Cup, uh, right? Yes, and yes. let me give you a funny story. Yes. Did you sell? <laughs> was his sponsor. Yeah. Did you tell that owns us? And told her no. <laughs> and said I couldn't interview him. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But, but it's funny because it came full circle. I'm here now. Yes. Mm. Yeah, but right. ju just to talk about the jazz as well. You know, my mom, Miss Clara, devoted Christian. You see mm. the last year, Gospel Night, oh, Miss Clara came back about four in the morning. So, wow. you know, so I'm telling you, it's, yeah. it, like Chris said, there's something in it for everybody and you know a chance to showcase St. Lucia you know and um, just em enjoy the ambience of the of the of the place mm -hmm. the people makes it uh, so much easier to enjoy as well you know, you know Darren when you're gonna arrive here with with Chris I, I was I, I wasn't sure what your role would be because I, I'm seeing you now I've seen I haven't seen you in about four years and you look fit and strong and, and still competitive I was wondering if the Kingston, the Senior Cup cricket semifinals are going on in Jamaica, I was wondering if one of the Jamaican teams was trying to sign you well, up to you play know, some you know, cricket. You know, Lance, funny enough, I don't know the last time I held a cricket bat. I'm Sorry. now into, I'm just playing golf all the time. You know, mm. I wish I played it whilst I was um, still active because yes. it stimulates the mind, you know, and it, it keeps you sharp. And, and But look, I try to, to keep myself up to date if I'm pushing a a fitness type of culture, yeah. no better than to lead it myself. And you could see even in our staff now, you know, you have Floyd, you have uh, Ryan Griffith, you have myself, Jim Franklin, all these guys are, are pushing the, the, the guys uh, uh, in, in focusing on, on their fitness as well. So um, it's, it's been going good. I'm, 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 I'm satisfied. Uh, just a side question here. I, I want to ask you, how do you feel when you enter the Darren Sammy Cricket Stadium? Because I know that a lot of times we honor our heroes after they're gone. Yeah. And I know there's the Viv Richards and Brian Lara Stadium and so on, so they, they are alive. But you are here with us now. How do you feel when you enter this massive, beautiful stadium, the Darren Sammy Cricket Stadium in St. Lucia? Look, I'm getting some goosebumps. But it is something I always have to remind myself. My kids, you know, when I drive around, take my daughter to, to tennis, it's right next door and they keep it's an inspiration because my, my last one, uh, Xavier, he's really into cricket. He keeps telling me, Daddy, I'm going to sell out this stadium. Oh, my. That's what he says. So, so, so it's, How old is he? He's six. Wow. He's six years old, and he's obsessed with cricket. Does he bat or bowl or he, both? He's a lefty. And now he's he's trying to bowl because so I tell him he has to be an all rounder. He, when if when he gets out, he doesn't want to do anything. But um, man, I'm I'm telling you, it's, it's a blessing, it's testimony to see how how much Saint Lucia has appreciated my contribution uh, to the sport, to the game, to the people, and to actually act, I played international cricket. You know, normally you said it's after, but to actually play international cricket in the stadium name after you, that's surreal. Yeah, and you know, it brings me to my question about you now wearing the hat as head coach. Yeah. Because there's like no stopping you. You, you, you won the World Cup twice, then people oui, felt, oui. okay, you and the team, right, <laughs> yeah. as the leader. Yeah. And then, you know, you felt as, we felt as if, okay, you were coaching for the CPL. Nobody saw this coming, and then you, you got it. Uh, funny story is I, I never saw myself coaching. So then, uh, I never saw myself venture into coaching. I've been here on uh, discussing being a pundit on, 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 on the game and, you know, do some commentary. But coaching was never the next uh, thing I was going to venture. It was actually Mohammed Akram from Pakistan when I, my affiliation with Peshawar Zalmi, and he said, you know what, because of your leadership, I'm not stopping coaching unless I think you're ready to coach. And in 2020, he said, I think you're ready. I was player coach for Peshawar. Uh, it took a little while for me to remove my playing hat because I still had the desire to, to play. play yeah. But now I actually don't miss playing. I enjoy sitting down with uh, Avinash and having a, a talk with Rovman, discussing strategy, and then seeing the guys going out and, 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 and execute it. it. That's where I get my high from, you yeah. know, and, and the data available to us now. You know, had I used that as in my captaincy whilst playing, um, 
I think I'll be a much better captain. But I've enjoyed the role and it's grown on me. And um, yeah, I just want to thank God for for the way the transition has has happened. You know, not often you you, you see that. But Darren, you know, one of the things I always say on this show is, when a person who has a good career and leaves the sport in a very respectful manner <laughs> becomes a coach, it's a bit worrying because and being a West Indies coach mm -hmm. is even a bit scary, yeah, right? Like because some grace, huh? I feel like you lose. <laughs> All the stripes that you left as a player, mm -hmm. it can be removed very quickly yeah. when you become a coach because they usually blame the coach first. Yeah, well, you see the, the, the beauty about it, I'm not you, um, I'm so used to be, being blamed, <laughs> you know, for a lot of things. You know, the pressure that came from my, my tenure as captain actually, in hindsight, it actually prepared me now for, for, this. for this role. So the pressures that come with it um, enable. Um, I've, I've been through it almost throughout my career. So now, uh, one thing I've understood is the communication and, uh, and the purpose. And once I've understood the, the, the role, what the, the mission of Cricket West Indies is, what uh, the, the chairman of selectors is looking for, and, and my vision for, for the team and how to take it forward, now we put the processes in place. And I just try to follow that, block out the noise, and go about doing my job. Mm. Chris, um, Darren is a, a tourism product. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority must embrace Darren Sammy as a, as a tourism product of the country, which is soaring at the moment in its sports platform with Julian Alfred winning world title at 60 meters indoors. Um, how, how does St. Lucia's tourism authority feel about the current sporting landscape in, in St. Lucia and the vision for, for it flourishing because with someone like Darren Sammy setting the pace and then others following, the, the sky appears to be the limit. No, I, and I totally agree. And I mean, just having Darren here with me is proof yes. of how serious that we take sports tourism and, if, and the role that our sports people play in marketing St. Lucia. I mean, we just did an interview and Darren did a remarkable job talking about our jazz festival, but not <laughs> only our jazz festival, <laughs> but the coming ICC World Cup yeah. and yeah. our carnival. Yeah. So, I mean, he's brilliant. And the thing about Darren that we love the most is not only his leadership, but his authenticity. He's real. People see him, understand him, and can relate to him, you know. And uh, just from being around him on this trip, uh, so many people approach him and appreciate what he does. So, and he, I mean, he literally is a shining light for St. Lucia. I, I believe you, because I remember seeing a social media post a couple of months ago. I'm not sure if he was in Grenada or where he was chopping a coconut on the, on the, on the sideline <laughs> and telling the coconut vendor that he can do this <laughs> because he's from St. Lucia and, Correct, and they, yeah. they do the, and it was just so Caribbean. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, <laughs> look, again, I give kudos to, to Miss Clara at home, the way, you know, growing up in the countryside, you know, we didn't have the, the, the traditional toys, so we had to, you know, fend for ourselves, climb coconut trees, mango trees, guava trees, and, you know, you never know what happens in the future, but all these are bringing, prepares you, you know, for the different challenges you find in life, and I'm a proud St. Lucian, you know, um, ever since 2004 when I made the West Indies team, you know, St. Lucia, Darren Sammy from St. Lucia, you know, the, the marketing that comes with it. And, you know, I must give the, the, the tourism authority, you know, um, using me uh, as, a, as a way to even further develop, um, not develop, but promote the, the country, you know. Um, and Jamaica does it quite well, you yeah. know. I, I, I mean, you ask people about Usain Bolt, you know, you speak about uh, Saf Safa Powell, Chris Gale, you know, um, um, now the, the reggae, Girls, I think. Reggae girls and yeah, reggae boys. Yeah. Reggae boys. They, they did, you know, sports is one avenue where most people could relate. It's inspirational, you yeah. know. Fortunately for Jamaica, they got the music, they got the food, they got the sports. And um, to put that together and market Jamaica is something a page like St. Lucia could, could take. And I mean, they started it now, you know, Janelle, you know, myself and Spencer was at the helm, but now to see Alfred the way she's, she's progressed. She's gonna be our biggest sporting star to, to, to come from St. Lucia if she keeps track. And we, we now could sit and not only support Jamaica. Yeah, when the yeah, Olympics yeah, yeah. come, yeah, we could say, okay, St. Lucia could actually <laughs> get a medal. So that, that, and it also gives 
young people mm -hmm. a chance to dream like, wow, Darren did that, Levin did that, look, um, Alfred is doing it. So it, 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 it uplifts the, 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 the youth and um, hopefully, you know, we could pick it back on that success because mm -hmm. you've got to hit the iron whilst it's hot. Yeah. T20 World Cup cricket yeah. has St. Lucia as one of its venues. Yes. Um, how important is it, Darren, for the West Indies to win the T20 World Cup? And how confident are you that they can? It's very important. Like, not only for, for, for West Indies, but I think all the countries come in, they, they know the importance of winning a World Cup. Yeah. The fortunate thing for us, for a long time, we were the only team that's won it twice. Yeah. I think England did that. Now we get a chance to put some daylight between us. And I must say, I have a... Have, I'm very confident in, in, in what I've seen, like, just looking at these guys play T20 cricket over the last year. 2023, we did not lose a series. Rothman Powell came in as, as a new captain, and the way his leadership, very strong, you know, and he knows what he wants, and we, we, we communicate well. And to see the way the guys go out and perform. I told them, I know, I've seen this team before, especially from a batting point of view. And I think this batting lineup we have now is even better than than the 2012 and 2016 teams because when you you you, you see nicholas puran you see um through um Shofain rutherford you know hetmai all these guys are in their prime you know i mean hetmai has not performed for a while but yeah. you know but all it goes these deeper this, the yeah, batting yeah. goes it deeper it goes deeper like yes, when yeah. you have russell starting at eight and nine and all these things um we have so much depth in that um, obviously, the bowling, you know, you want to, to say, oh, can, can I, where can I get a badge? Where can I get a Narine? <laughs> you know, but these are guys you cannot replace. But you have an Aki Lucin, you have a Moti, you have an Altari Joseph, you know, you have a, a, a Shomar Joseph who did uh, uh, amazing things in, 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 in the when, in, when will he get an opportunity for white ball cricket? Though? Oh, because I, I don't see him getting picked in the team. If he doesn't show himself, and I've been dying to see him which, which, which I think you said yourself. Yes, yes. So, but that doesn't mean he's not part of the selection um, um, group, you know. But ideally, um, T20 is a game where you are challenged as a bowler every single ball, and it's so different from Test cricket. He has the skills, what he's shown. He has the skills, he has the the, the control, and he has the heart. And these are things that could take you so far yeah. in any format of the game. But I would love to see, because we've given guys, and we've had a process to, to, to getting us to June. You know, the, the guys we've exposed over the last year. And it's only fair that, you know, if somebody brilliant comes along, you know, there's always this X factor that come along. But, I mean, we trust in the processes. Myself, Robin Powell, you know, uh, Chairman Desmond Haynes that we've, we've put out, and people tend to watch, okay, our bowling, but if you look at just overall T20 bowling in the world, bowlers have struggled. Australia became the first team to have 200 scored four consecutive times against, yes. against them. Against them. Yes. You know, and, and their it, bowling is highly and respected. They're, and they're, the, they're, the top, they're in the top three teams in, in, in the world. So the, the, the batsmen are playing on better pitches which means the margin for error for the bowlers is, 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 is very slim. So it's a, it's a, it's a, you watch the IPL now, 270, 267 yeah. on pitches. So it's a general concern for the bowling. So that's why, because of the X factor we have with the with, with batting group, it creates cushion for us. We know what we have to do. And again, it's my word throughout my, my cricket career has been execution. You know, we execute well with the confidence that we have and the experience in this team. Um, I'm, not, I'm not worried. Yeah, I'm also looking at the team on paper and saying, you know, the names look good. Oh, you know my team. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the names that can be selected. But yes. talking about that, you have to <laughs> tell us who the next two names are very, very soon. Um, soon. Yeah, but look, it is not often you find you know, a, select, a selection group in West Indies, you know, the headache is which player we're going to pick because of performance, not because of the lack thereof, you know. And this T20 team has, um, they've created that. I mean, I, I saw these guys landed in Australia straight from some coming from um, Abu Dhabi T10 or, yeah. or the, the IL T20 and, like, learn straight to work. 
You they know, mean like business. they they have this confidence in them, and I could see it just they walk with their heads up. Yeah. You know, and um, I mean, some of them, you know, we we speak. I had an update uh, with, with them, especially the guys in the IPL, keeping sure that their their work, workload is managed and and what is required is being done. And um, yeah, they were like, Coach, I'm putting in the work, you know, because it's only 15. They'll have some disappointment. It's only 15 that could be selected, but um, it's from a good bunch of guys. Yeah, do you feel pressure that the T20 World Cup is in the Caribbean and, you know, or do you feel it's an advantage because then you have the support of all your people? Well, I think the conditions, I mean, when you come at home, you should have some advantage knowing the conditions. But you see, with all the data around, you know, and the caliber of players, you know, you adjust quite well. Yeah. What I would say is, um, Looking at the, the games we've played here, I mean, my guys have handled the pressure quite well. You know, growing up 2-0 um, uh, against England and, 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 and <laughs> India, and then, you know, probably relaxing a little bit and then winning it in the, the most important thing, like I told them, is that game five, both times against England and India, we were able to, to win it at home. And again, if you look at tournament cricket, you know, you will have to win those those crucial yes. games and um, they're building some good exp um, energy and, and camaraderie among, amongst the team that which it could breed success and I, I believe that we could do it. Mm. Well, Darren and Chris, great to have you here on the no Sports Max Zone, uh, of course, representing the St. Lucia Sports uh, our Tourism Authority, um, sport sponsors of the Sports Max Zone for such a long time yeah. now. Great to have you here. And I must say that I'm, I'm going to try as quickly as possible to take advantage of that short trip to St. Lucia from yeah. Jamaica because it usually is a bit of a headache getting yes. to St. Lucia from, mm -hmm. from this side of the yeah. Caribbean. Com completely visa-free. Yes, I'm happy. I'm, ha I'm, I'm, <laughs> happy. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. We have an international Masters football tournament coming up in May. Yeah. Um, look out for me. I mean, I may drop in. Yes, <laughs> looking forward to it. All right. I just okay. want to say one more thing before we yes. go. Um, I want to just encourage everyone to visit stluciajazzandads.com to find out more about tickets, the full lineup, yeah. etc. Yeah. Go on, get your tickets now, book your flights now, do it now, or it might just be too late. Yeah. <laughs> I believe him. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't take what he just said lightly. We'll be back with more on the Sports Max Zone football talk coming up after the break. Let me take you around, pretty St. Lucia. 